he will ideally want to be here. Okay. So let's say this, yeah. because okay. when when he's loose, it's going to be just fine. But the second he goes wide, you'll yeah. feel it a bit more. So I'd say okay. like right here. Okay, perfect. Although your hand might fall differently than mine. Yeah. So we'll see how oh, that goes. There you go. That's perfect. Like that, you think? Yeah. Okay. But make sure, like, you, sh you shouldn't have to reach down, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, that looks Perfect. good. All right. Walk about. I would say try to hold your hand, like, behind your hip. Okay. Yeah. Because remember, he want, we want him behind our hip as well. Good. Yeah. Down. Okay, so get him further back. Okay. Make sure when you're pulling back, you keep walking as well. That way you get him in the position. Sure. Yep. Let's do a quick stop. Good. Yeah, because he is scanning a lot right now. That's why I want his body behind yours, because he's still far ahead where he's just looking. He's not paying attention yep. to you. Let's go again. All right, try, yeah, let's try to enforce the position a bit more. Get him back. So maybe after a little bit of this, let's start implementing, um, you know, 180s directional changes. Okay. So he kind of realizes more to pay attention to you because the occasional tug right now is doing okay. Sure. Yeah. Like maybe like a loop in the driveway or something. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, the directional change has a little bit of. Nice. Back a little. Good. Not bad. Want to do a random stop? Sure. Good. And try to start up randomly, like when he's not paying attention, and just use the word. Okay. And Talk about. Good. Okay, let's see. So, tug him when he whimpers a bit. Leave it. Leave it. And it's okay, you don't need to use a word for it. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's loop. Let's loop by again. Okay. After. Backwards. Yeah. Yeah, and definitely let's practice a bit more 180s for sure, because. better so it's really good that he doesn't even pull he just makes noise right next to you so that's a that's a really great thing so it's all about noise and I'd say the noise will go away over time okay yeah because like if you constantly walk him past here yeah. and you don't allow him to engage with yeah, the dog he'll he will up. yes yeah. he'll get over it he'll just be like oh it's this dog again yeah. who cares about him yeah okay yep let's go again good Although I wonder if they took the dog away. <laughs> oh, oh yes, you're right. He's right there. Want to do a random 180? <laughs> All right, yeah, let's practice a bit more of that because he's jumping up every time. So let's go and let's cross the street. All right. Um, actually, they might cross first. Let them cross then. And we'll just keep going. Tug him a little bit, he's getting alert. Good. Again. Good. No, again, again. It's all right, keep walking. Good. Oh, that's all right. That's pretty decent because he wasn't ever, ever able to stare for too long without getting a prong correction. So that always disrupts his mindset. Because if he stared for like the entire walk by when the dog passed, he would definitely start barking. Yeah. But you disrupted it every time, so that's good. Like your, I guess, routine to be like, would you? So I, I wanted to pulling. go sit by his food bowl and wait, and for, wait for me and then I okay. bring it to him like you know like I'm waiting on him sure but he needs to know hey this is not okay to come in here yeah. jump up on my leg 
hop around, do the squealing, you know, all that stuff. So yeah. you'll see what happens. Like, look at him. He's like, yeah, know. exactly. So I was going to so. say that um, I will bring him over there okay. and we'll enforce the sit while you get ready. Okay. So, all right, come okay. on, let's go. Come on. Good. Good. Good? No? Good. No? It's okay. He'll have to figure it out a little bit. And it's also slippery for him. Sit. Good. So we'll let him wait a while because he will be rushing for it. Or he might get impatient, we'll say. But this is, I can see what you mean a bit. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. It is kind of important, I'd say, when you're training. The leash has to be on, sure, right? Because sure. if it wasn't, you can't enforce yeah. this. Break. Good. Where can I get one? We should be able to take him away from the food as well. I want to see you do it. Okay. So I'm going to bring the bowl back to the kitchen okay. and have him sit there, and I'll bring it over. Sit. Sit. Okay. I'll add a little bit more. Nice. Well, he's looking at me. Ideally, he would be looking at you for release, but you can release him when you want. Release? <laughs> he jumped a little. Release. Go ahead. Good. Yeah. So here's the backyard. I don't know if this is big enough for you guys or not. Oh, but... no. Oh, wait. So we want to practice that. That is something we want to practice, right? He rushes out the door all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's okay if he does that. Because remember when he was over there, he didn't want to cook, yeah. get away from his food. Yep. You just have to guide him away. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open the door. He's sitting, good. And try to step through the door. Good. All right, go ahead. And another thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned last week, but dogs will anticipate release when you touch the leash, right? Because we grab it and then we break them. So that's another thing to practice. Just like touch it randomly. Reach for it, but don't actually break him. Break. Good. Good job. Sit. Good. I'm going to move around him. He almost got up, but he's just turning a tiny bit, which is okay down good and I don't know how's he doing on the down because I'm stopping the leash uh, the grass eating um, but it it seems like he's doing okay with going into the down without leash guidance because he's doing it pretty yeah. quickly so I'm gonna we've, try it with him working on it without the leash no no so, leash pressure yeah. good and just in the living room like I'm watching TV and I'll just sit there and say down and sit he's doing really good with sit Mm -hmm. Down needs a little more work, but sit, he's like... Good. Yeah, no, I can definitely notice that. So I'll try that. Break. Sit. Good. Down. Good. That's very good. That's very good. He doesn't normally do that on command. I usually nope. have to do good. that. And I was doing the thing where you... So you, I didn't do it with the leash a few times where you were just, just pulling the motion, it down. Yep. And he would just follow the motion too. Right. So he doesn't do it all the time. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I would also say that probably doing this outdoors right now is a bit mm -hmm. too distracting for him. You can see he's very yeah. focused on the noise and he's finding time to mun yeah. munch on the grass, but, um, yeah. So do you want, let's take it inside okay. and I want to see you work through it. Okay. Yeah. All right. What? No. Good. Nope. Down. Good. Every time has to be brought back. Break. Good. All right, let's go. All right. 